are five things that will make you a millionaire in the first week of EAFC 24. Make sure you get on the game as early as possible. That includes the, the web app. It will be vital to be on the first day as EA like to maybe change things up a bit here and there. However, they almost always give us initial packs and the foundation SPCs to be able to do while on the web app. This allows you to get early access into your investments, quick selling your non-selling items. What this does is it boosts your account. And let me explain. On the first day, well, no one has coins. Therefore, no one is buying anything. So if you want to put items on the market above their quick sell price and you can't sell them, well, I just strongly recommend if they are less than two times the return of the, what that market is you're trying to sell for to go ahead and just quick sell. Those coins are going to push all the way up to nearly almost 10 X. That is if you hit the jackpot, but majority of the market will inflate nearly four times. Therefore, Opportunity cost is greatly affected, so quick selling and getting 100 coins rather than trying to sell for 200 will gain you about, let's say, 5,000 coins. That could maybe turn into 50K, if not about 15 to 20 at least. Finding budget investments. Well, to find budget investments, they are all over the place. Well, typically, these are starter squads or meta players. Basically meaning people are going to buy these in the first few days and these are what I consider also a pump and dump. They will be dirt cheap day one. They'll inflate dramatically as the ultimate edition releases and then they will crash as the game comes out and everybody's opening a dramatic amount of packs, rewards, and all the users that were not on the pre-release that did not spend the extra $30. Utilizing trade methods to try and find an edge in the market. These are gold, silvers, bronze, SBC trading, etc. There are tons of methods. I will be doing this live and making coins. Day one is the hardest day to make coins, but has the fastest and highest turnover rate if done properly, nearly turning a mere 10,000 coins into maybe 100k if we can hit the jackpot biggest and most final if you're brand new to this it's holding big cards majority of meta items tend to stay high and inflate later but which ones are considered meta i have broken down my list on how to determine a meta card before actually using it before the game is even released so click on this next video to watch on that